हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अगेन योर ई लर्निंग ऑफ न्यू क्लास एंड आई एम हियर विथ योर न्यू चैप्टर चैप्टर टू द एड्रेस फ्रॉम योर स्नैप शॉट द एड्रेस रिटर्न बाई मार्गा मिंको सो अबाउट द ऑथर मार्गा मिंको शी वॉज बॉर्न इन नाइनटीन एटी वन एंड Has you don't know name that is a fictitious name or pen name, Sarah Minko, born on thirty first March nineteen twenty. She is a Dutch journalist as well as a writer, born in Ginniken, Netherlands, and she married to the poet. And after that, translate he became the translator Bert Wiesten, and after that she died in nineteen ninety two. Here, students, the idea about the chapter. So, address is very touching story. You can call it a tale of a war, as it narrates two situations: one before the liberation and other post-war period. So, it is a story of a girl whose mother, Mrs. S, gave her belonging to a lady called Mrs. Darling during the World War Second. Unfortunately, during the war, Mrs. S dies, but her daughter survives. Her daughter first thinks to leave the belonging of her mother, as she thought it will make the remember and the good old times, and she will then regret. But later, she becomes so curious to see her mother's belonging. But then, Mrs. S, darling, acts like. that she doesn't know her and she avoid mrs s daughter the girl tries to get her belonging but back when she went to find that the object evokes memories of her old life and she decided to leave them all behind and resolved to move so here it is some picture is there during the war which took place and in that it brought a destruction of the lives so here it is the conversation between mrs darling and mrs s so mrs s you should give all your precious items to me as you might ask to leave the lo- lose everything Mrs. Darling, are you sure about this? As you might get trouble for helping a Jewish family. Mrs. S, it is a complete time. By the after that, a friend is need a friend indeed. So insist you that you should give you all your belonging at my house, Markani Street, house number twenty six. thank mrs darling for helping me out and i could got and ask for a big favor so here in this war mrs s she dies but her daughter survives here it is Mrs. Daughters decided to bring back her mother's belonging from Mrs. Darling. Here the picture is given there, and the address is there, Darling's house, number thirty-six, Marconi Street. So Mrs. S. Darling acts like she don't know her and avoid Mrs. S. Daughter, and the girl try to get her belonging back, but when she finds that she all the objects evokes memories of her old life she decide to leave them all behind and resolve to move and then she left that place and she went now let us discuss about the part 1 first meeting when mrs s daughter she went to the darling's house In the beginning of the story, is narrated how the protagonist, 
protagonist the main character was given a cold reception when she went to her native place after the war in search of her mother's belonging after the ringing the bell off so when she went to a new place in search of her mother's belonging and she, when she got the place she rang the bell house number 46 markani street a woman opened the door on being introduced the woman kept staring at her in silence there was no sign of recognition on her face the woman was wearing her mother a green knitted cardigan narrator could understand that she had made no mistake she asked the woman whether she knew her mother the woman could not deny this the narrator wanted to talk to her for some time but the woman cautiously closed the door the narrator stopped there for some time and then she left the place so as she wanted to talk to mrs darling and mrs darling she was denying she was refusing she doesn't want to talk to her and just she slammed the door and she after that mrs s daughter she left the place now here part 2 students not remembering the past what happens so in the subsequent section subsequent the succeeding the following part section here the memories of the narrators bygone days comes to light so whatever she the things was past now she started remembering her mother had provided the address years ago during the war she went to home for a few days she could find that various things were missing so when she went various things were missing in that house and at that time her mother told her about mrs darling she happened to be an old acquaintance of the narrator's mother and lately she had renewed contact with her and had been coming there regularly every time she has left their home their house and she took something with her the possessions and the next day the narrator saw mrs darling going out of their house with a heavy suitcase she had fleeting glimpses of mrs darling's face she asked her mother whether the woman lived far away at the time the narrator's mother told about the address number 46 marconi street so when the mrs s daughter she saw that the slight glimpse just slightly she uh, looked towards mrs darling as she was holding the suitcase and she was moving so when she asked her mother and she told about that the address that time only she remembered that address marconi street after many days the after the war the narrator was curious to take record of the positions that must still at the number 46 marconi street with this intention she went to the given address so she wanted because when she went to the room that house she found missing many things were missing so she thought of going inquiring mrs darling's house the mark that place marconi street now so here is the part 3 and the second visit here this way this is the concluding part of the story which describes the second visit to the narrators as the narrator first visited elder to result so she planned to go once again and that time interestingly the girl had of 15 opened the door and she told that mother was not at home the narrator expressed her wish to walk wait for her so she thought that if the mother is not there she would wait for her and the girl accompanied her to passage the narrator saw an old fashioned iron candle holder hanging next to the mirror the girl made her to sit in the living room and went inside the narrator was horrified to find himself a room she knew and did not know she found 
everything in the midst of the familiar things which she belonged to see again but which troubled her in strange atmosphere so what when she went in that room everything she find that each and everything was very familiar to her but in a strange atmosphere she was there she had no courage to look around her but she had no longer desire to possess them she got up she walked to the door and left the room she resolved the all the things which was there coming in her mind she for all she wanted to put it off and then she wanted to move from that address so students at the end the address is written by the mago minko as i told you is indeed an inspiring story which sheds an adequate amount of light in the importance of letting things go so it further reiterates that both past and future are the illusions and all we have with us is present and with this only we have to go so hey students here some important questions are there just go through all the questions answer so five things six questions long short every type of questions answers are there just for your better understanding so that you can understand the chapter with this and lastly and some uh, questions are there which with the hints outlines are there you can develop the all these points and you can have the proper answer and lastly here some separate question bank is there for your practice so five questions are there that you can find out the answer of these questions and copy down in your register so thank you students have a pleasant day